Hi there, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show why Silent Jailer actually works with the Jailer Metadown. As I've said previously in a lot of videos, the Jailer Meta is now in danger because of the existence of the Witch. Which is why I now just don't claim as Jailer until, you know, like, uh, Invest finds me as by the Jailer or whatever. Anyway. As Jailer, I am the commandeering figure of the town once I reveal anyway. So, night one, I will be jailing someone who doesn't talk. Now, this is also another thing that I usually do. When I'm TI, I invest or interrogate someone who doesn't talk day one because I don't want to hit a vet. Same way with vet, uh, Jailer, you don't want to mess up someone's... um vet uh play i mean vet bait yes bug claims bg i'm gonna remind them to cc all tp claims so that town actually knows what's going on as well yes i did not come out day one why because i don't want to be witched now this that really relies on the witch um knowing the appropriate plays to witch the jailer but i'm not taking that chance So we have no kills apparently. I will ready for the deluge of TI claims. Okay. Eleven claims trans, Hobo claims invest with Edward as ICM. Oh I, I actually use like really short abbreviations. Shorter than just Inconsme. Just like the initials, and I can figure them out from there. Squeezel claims the lookout. Sloops claims sheriff with Mobo as Inno. Uh, a lot of something I see people like not do or just when your town I mean just as any role you should be noting down all the claims with the rollers whether you're evil or town or even just exe or witch okay now, why is uh, noting down people's in results important? Because usually, a sheriff is an easy claim to fake, and people like to just randomly pick someone. If if someone claims that a mafia member who's not GF is you know, then you know they're evil. But you're not going to know that if you don't write down their results, which is why it is important to note down the results that someone gets. Now, I personally just use the... I just put down the person's claim, and then the people they find, you know. And now, we are voting up Winter as per VFR. Edward Bishop appears to be claiming... I mean, I mean, they are mayor. We have Winter claiming Doc. I mean, I know Bug CC in that, but the other people don't, so I'm just gonna wait for Bug to CC. And right now, I'm jailing Sebrail. Why? Because they're not claiming. Okay, we have Mama Kazi counter claiming this, as well as Bug, like I asked. This has two TP CCs, which is almost enough to lynch them, but I'm still annoyed. And they lynched Winter, okay. I mean, I'm not sure if that was a good lynch or not, judging by how fast it went up. But, okay. Oh, also, it's important to note down what, uh, who is trans or arbied and or trans to arbied. Now, to note down who actually guilty that. In your notes, you can also put down a list of non-voters if someone comes up, you know. Or just... I mean, you can put down a list of non-voters, non-voters, people who know someone, people who guilty someone. In this case, since Winter was Doc, I listed down people who guilty them. And I want to roll from Sebrail. 
you know, claim guilty, I mean execute. Now another thing I like to do as Jailer is that I like to just um, ask them for a roll, give them like 5 seconds, a little less, and press execute. Most of the time, I do not actually execute them. Now this guy took 15 seconds to claim Vigilante, which is why I'm executing them anyway. Another thing people might do, I mean, another thing jailers might do, is that um, after pressing execute on someone, if they don't, I mean, if they don't like put up a fight, if they don't um, immediately yell something at you like you're gonna lose your exes or you're exing the TK, then since they're not putting up a fight, they're probably evil who have given up. Now, this is a very questionable tactic. Okay, they clean squeeze out apparently, which gives us the opportunity for assuming that Bug was Jenny, but... I mean, TP isn't a common claim for Jenny, so I'm not really gonna go on that one. So now I'm gonna copy-paste the guilties on Winter. <clears throat> and Sabrell was in fact Mafioso. Squeezel was LO. I mean, they did claim that. I can put them in as claimed LO. Okay, Sloops claim Sheriff, says Mamakaze come up sus. There's a possibility for, um. What do you call that thing? Possibility for EXE. I somehow forgot the name of an entire role. But anyway, I should put Winter in as Dead Duck. Okay, so I'll be jailing John Smith now because I don't remember having seen a claim from them yet. Or actually, I'll just jail someone who hasn't claimed. I mean, Hobo has already claimed it right now. I'm just gonna put the jail on them first so that I actually jail someone. Important thing to remember to do as jailer. You have to click on someone, literally anyone, before the day ends so that you don't just like end up wasting a night. That's just stupid or forgetful. John Smith claims Vigi. I'm pretty sure there's a witch alive, which means that now they have to die. Another thing that I've noticed a lot and I'm really annoyed by. As Vigilante, you should not be claiming Vig on stand. Why? Because there's a witch and they're gonna use you. Now this is actually a um, common jester play I see these days. But since I'm not, you know, I'm confirmed jailer, or I haven't even come out yet, then it's in my... I don't want to seem special by innowing. Obviously the mayor has to inno though. This isn't lucky, this was just the fact that you claimed a vigilante with a witch alive. As, uh, TK, like Vigil, you should just, you should just claim TK on stand. So that the witch does not know whether you're vet or vid and won't come near you, probably. Okay, so that was a Janny, and I'm now jailing Queen Cersei because I don't see a claim from them. Also, they're on the list. Roll. No claim. Execute. Okay, I'll write that down as ixt sebrail. And there we see someone who has given up, apparently. Now, another reason that you want to press execute real fast, whether or not they're claiming or not, is to pressure them. Make sure you do, like, uh, press the button again to, like, not execute, if they do claim, though. You don't want to X someone by accident. Bye 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 indeed. Okay, we still have that one for one on Mama Cozy and the Sheriff. Samuel Seawall is dead. Yes, kill the Mafia. Oh, another interesting thing. If you have a spy who only sees like, uh, two MVs night one, then Mafia might not necessarily have attacked if there's, if there's like no dead guy. 
if there are three MVs, then you know for sure that someone was attacked. Unless um, you know, just gather, which is really annoying, actually. Yes, thank you for sharing, Jen. Now, most of this, I mean, almost both of my exes were just um, uh, reading people from votes. Reading from votes and, you know, non-claimers. Okay, so... Oh, I'm jealous. I will type that right after I fix up my wall. Right. Okay, oops, I got myself put on trial. So, another thing to note there. Try to, uh, if you're a town, try to claim before you get put on stand. Because early game, if town is really insist insistent on VFRing, you're just wasting time and trials if you don't claim. Okay. So... Yes, sharing again. We still have Sloops and Momokazi. Although, I mean, no one comes up suspicious right now. Unless... I mean, we don't have a framer. There's no way that Mamakazi comes up uh, sus unless, you know, the transporter did something. So, I will now click to jail Kazi first. And now we're lynching bug. Yes, we are upping the BG claim. Now, why is this up? Mainly because we have a CC from the dead dog and also from Kazi. Alright, Peanuts claims a witch who has given up. But if this is GF, then I won't even have to jail them anyway. No, I'm not gonna jail for just yet. I just got a witch claim and I am not going to risk being controlled off of Ixen. Alright, so... Oh, another thing. This, um... If there's a witch still alive, you, you as jailer, you, you kinda don't wanna jail the mayor because if the witch is smart, they might make you ix the mayor. That's a bad thing. If you've already lost your ixes or if you've somehow already used all three of them, then that's fine. Protect the mayor. Do what you want. Alright, and that was an example of why... Another four hello. Okay, that was the, another example of why the jailer meta is... Well, it's just... Alright, fine, it can be helpful, but... You can also survive as a silent jailer if you just keep your head down. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.